And now we have Anuaga, founder trustee, Teach for India, former chairperson, Thermex Limited. Thank you so much, Anuji, for joining us for our, this program. This is a time when attention has been focused on the role of healthcare workers and their contribution. How important is that? We recognize that uh, it's just not talk, but that we actually take steps to ensure that they get support. I think it's extremely important that we acknowledge and recognize the health workers who are doing a tremendous job during these difficult days. Uh, all of us uh, dread this disease, but God forbid if we have it, it's the health workers, the doctors, the nurses, the entire staff that work under very difficult conditions if I'm scared sitting at home about COVID, can you imagine the health workers who are 24 hours with COVID patients doing mm. a tremendous job? I have a friend who's a doctor and he says washing the hands and using sanitizer, the skin is coming out, constantly doing this. But uh, they're doing a tremendous job. Right, but uh, Anuaga, it's also important, isn't it, that we ourselves are responsible in order to protect health workers. That if people break rules of social distancing, don't wear masks, don't sit at home, that actually puts health workers at greater risk. Yeah, but Srinivasan, social distancing and washing our hands is okay for the middle class and well to do. In the slums, in Pune, in one of my slums, there is no water for the last three days. So where is the question of washing hands? And where is the question of social distancing when 10 people live in a tiny room? So mm -hmm. we who can do it should be responsible and not break the rules. But how can you expect the slum dwellers to follow these? Right. Uh, actually, that's a great point. Uh, you work in underprivileged communities. What is happening there? What steps are being taken and what more can governments and other stakeholders do? Uh, there's so much that needs to be done. And I can speak for half an hour about it, but we'll then go <laughs> But if, the if you say one thing, one thing, uh, one or two things. Uh, if government had to spend more than 1% on health when things were well also, maybe uh, things could have been better in the slums. But we spend 1% of our budget on health and 2% on education, which is dismal. And at times like this, then we come face to face with problems. 